I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review Bass by Wires LA season six, season three, episode seven. Now, show starts off with Jackie and Cindy feeling in British about the whole Palm Springs um trip that they had, and Jackie is just like these girls. They was like, getting all ghetto, acting all rowdy, causing all these problems, causing all these fights. You know, she's not taking her responsibility for the fight. Yeah, it was. Dre and Sunday who fought, but it was because J Jackie opened up her big mouth like I was. Jackie, she just, you know, omitted the fact that, hey, Dre had said something, Sunday didn't hear it, Jackie felt it was her need to say, she's not ratchet, Dre, which said it loudly so that Sunday could hear it, which caused them to fight. And I feel if, yeah, Dre should have said it, but seeing as how Sunday didn't hear it, it would have been squashed. But no, Jackie took it upon herself. We're like, she's not ratchet. Which caused them to fight. Which caused them to fight again. Which caused them to argue. And yeah, and that's kind of what messed up the whole trick. But you know, Jackie, she's not going to take her. She's not going to take responsibility because of causing this fight. And Rich is like, y'all didn't want me to come because it was all ghetto and ratchet. And didn't want no fight. But look what happened. Maybe Sunday should have stayed at home and not Rich. How about that? So Doug and Jackie, they're going to be the models for the cognac bottle that Jackie wants to do. Yeah, her and Doug. They're posing. She's in some swimsuit and he's in some like, I don't remember because I wasn't trying to look at Doug like that for real, for real. And they're sitting there posing and Sunday just comes in, did not ring the doorbell in anyway, but that's beside the point. And she comes in and sees them posing. Now, I was just through. I, I mean, I expect Jackie to do some mess like this, but I was just totally thrilled. Like, really, Jackie? It's going to be you and Doug, y'all body that's going to be a cognac bottle? Okay, and don't nobody want to buy no cognac where the bottle is a shape of Doug and Jackie Christie. Maybe that's just me. Maybe Jackie, she knows some people that would love a cognac bottle that, you know, resembles their body and I guess their love for one each other. But I was like, I was so, I almost couldn't watch that scene. A few times I, you know, just looked away, played Candy Crush until I heard somebody else talking. It was like, really? You and Doug, y'all and y'all swimsuits, y'all trying to look sexy but not really getting it. I was like, I, I, I just, I just can't with have a cognac bottle with them and that dude trying to scope them and play and I know he's feeling uncomfortable about it because I was. So Jackie, she still some type of way of what Drea told her about her daughter. Drea came to her in a respectful manner. She pulled her to the side, didn't bring anybody else into it, and hadn't for my knowledge told anybody else. Like basically, your daughter is yeah, see my boyfriend and all that. Y'all know what happened last week. I'm going to get into it. But Jackie, she seems to be in denial about the whole situation. She feels that Drea has tarnished her daughter's reputation and, you know, analyzed her character. But, like, Drea didn't say that Chantel was holding up and up and down in the United States. She just said that, no, she got with one of my boyfriend's friends when he didn't want to get with her, and that was it. She didn't say go into details, but... I guess Jackie, this is her daughter. This is her youngest daughter. She's not trying to think of her daughter that way. But I think, you know, the way Chantel dogged Drea and talked about her way worse than what Drea said about Chantel. And I was like, Jackie, I mean, Drea, she could be lying, but you can't sit there and just think that your daughter's innocent because look at the situation she put herself in. She was trying to get with a basketball player, going over his house and all this stuff. So what you think they was going to be going over to him? We got his and her tattoos for British and Lorenzo. They go get tattoos of, like, number 11. Not the actual number 11, like Roman numerals on their fingers. And she's going in on about how I love him so much, even though he didn't treat it, cheated on me. We didn't argue, we didn't fuss and fight, but through all and through, I still love him. I was like, okay, you're expressing your love to this man, and two of the things didn't seem like a good thing. He cheated on you, y'all fussing and fighting, he get on your nerves, but still and all and through, I still love me some Lorenzo. So I'm like, okay, I guess, if you like it, I love it, British. 
So Jackie, she brings Cindy with her so she can go with the marketing people in the advertiser for her new cognac bottle. She didn't get the little clay model behind a little box. She's like, okay, y'all ready? All right. One, two, three. And she lifted up that box. And I, if that wasn't about the hottest mess looking stuff I had ever seen, I'm like, oh, poor Jackie. I'm like, my nephews, they are seven and four. It looked like they could have did better than that. Like, the faces, I don't know if it's just as a rough draft. What I hope it wasn't because, like, why would you bring that to the meeting? But, okay, maybe I missed that part. If I did, I apologize. But the faces didn't have really a face to it. It just looked like somebody just smushed some stuff together. The face that the advertiser and the marketing dude was priceless. They was looking like, what the hell is this? Is it supposed to be? Is it abstract? I mean, she said it's supposed to be two people, and she's going on. She's cheesing now, like she got that big old Kool Aid spout smile on her face. Like, yes, okay. See, this here is Doug, and you just you know pop off his head, and that's how you get your alcohol. You just pour it like that, and she's just grinning from ear to ear. Cindy is older, looking like Jackie. You my girl, but you need to sit down somewhere. Maybe you you shouldn't be getting into this business or you shouldn't be designing your own bottle because i was like oh my goodness what is this it's like he didn't just took some clay made it look like two separate parts but still connected made somewhat of a face just pinched some stuff it looked it odd it was just so weird i'm like what is this and she is just gushing away and I felt uncomfortable for her because the expressions that those dudes was giving, like, yeah, this is, she even lost a few more of her marbles. I thought this was going to be a good thing, but I should have known not to try to trust Jackie Christine to design her own bottles because look what happened. Oh, poor little Jackie. Maybe she'll get it next time, but that little model, clay model she brought in, mm -mm. Mm -mm. it was not it. And it is funny because when she brought up, she wanted the bottle to look like the the body of a person. Maybe that's just me, but my thought went straight to the Angel Mama bottle, the syrup bottle. That That's where my mind went. Like, I went straight there. Didn't want to, but that's where my mind went. Thinking, even that bottle of syrup looks a whole lot better than that. I know they had years to perfect their stuff, but Jackie, come on, girl. You seen what it looked like before you revealed it, and you should have known it wasn't right. So, Drea, she just says, okay, every time me and these girls get together, we drinking, and some a whole lot of mess happens. So, now, I want us to have a run for your life race. I'm going to bring these girls out to the desert. Get to put on your brown shoes and your work out gear. I'm going to be dressed like a zombie and so are a whole bunch of other people and y'all going to have to run for your life and sure enough they did. British was over there throwing up because she wasn't ready for that. She'd been eating eggs all day which you know you shouldn't be eating it in heavy and greasy before you go on the run but girl it's hot out there and you're running. That's a bad combination. That's a sad point. Drea she's sitting there in alert to wait and who that happens to be the first person to run by but Sunday. She done, but knocked that girl over, took her flag, people running, screaming, hollering, don't know what's going on, freaking out. She got them running through the desert, getting chased by zombies, crawling through mud, a whole bunch of stuff. It seemed kind of like fun. I was like, was it a purpose today? Was it just to have fun? Did they lose? Was it for charity? Because I wasn't really paying attention. I know I should if I was going to be doing a review, but hey, you're not going to have to forgive me on that one. So, British and Brandy, they decided to talk, and Brandy was like, you know, I may have misspoken when I first met. I wasn't trying to damn your husband because he didn't try to make it in the NBA. If he had a bit, I would, if he had been there, she'd been like, go ahead, you don't even let that, you know, keep you down. You keep on doing what you need to do. She was more of praising her husband and not trying to knock British and her man down. So, they like, yeah, I can see that, you know. Maybe you have misspoken. Maybe we could, you know, sort of kind of get along and squash everything. And just when you think that everything is going to go fine, all of a sudden he had to put her mouth, her, put her two cents in. 
Well, what is this about Brandy not liking Drea? And Drea's like, what? Well, she said when we was in Palm's Beat, no, Palm Beach, yeah, like they really, anyways, when we was in Palm Springs, she said she didn't really figure, uh, you know, really see you as a friend. And Drea's like, um, we've been hanging out, kicking it, you know, for the last few weeks, what's good? And Brandy's like, you know, I've been burned in the past by friends, and yeah, I don't see you as a friend now, and you know, I just getting to know you and Dre like, okay, then that's fine. You don't have to be, you don't have to come to no gatherings that we have, and if I'm not your friend, but I'm like, how long does it take for you to realize somebody is your friend? Y'all been hanging out, drinking, meeting up places, you and other people and that person. So how long does it take for you to realize this person is my friend? I don't know, maybe it's me, but like after seeing, meeting that person a couple of times and y'all see y'all got stuff in common and y'all been hanging out, maybe that's when, but according to Brandy, you know, she got to get to know you for like several years before she can call yourself her friend, which is weird because she's been hanging around with Jackie, so is she not friends with Jackie as well? Hmm. Yeah. I had to think about that one. Interesting thought. Maybe she ain't. Maybe her only friend on the show is Malaysia if she's just being cordial to the rest of the girls. Yeah. So, after several times of Drea telling Jackie, I do not want to meet up with your daughter, I'm just trying to get on with my life, I'm trying to put this mess behind me, but y'all just keep on bringing it up. So, she's, her and Jackie are talking, and then her daughter strolls in after they had like a five minute conversation, and Jackie's sitting there looking like, yeah, what you got to say now? My baby's here. Mm-hmm, what you thinking now? And Drea just flat out tells her, I'm going to tell you what I told your mom. You tried to get by my man. He didn't like you. He offered, he introduced you to his friend. You flew yourself out there. She's like, no, I did not fly myself out there for no man. I felt my flew myself out there for my grandma's memorial. And why you keep bringing me up in your conversation? Now, either Jackie, either they didn't show everything, or Jackie got her words wrong. Because the only time this season that I can remember Drea even bringing up Chantel's name was when Jackie told her that. Orlando was trying to get with Chantel. Other than that, Drea has not said anything about Chantel. And the only time she does is to tell Jackie, this is what happened. I'm telling you what I heard. That she flew out there to be with his friend. He dropped her after they got together. And now she's mad. Other than that, Drea ain't studying Chantel. But Chantel is always up in Drea's business. And... Chantel's like, you need to stop putting my name in my mouth. She's like, I'm not. She's like, why are you so mad at me? Are you mad that I'm with Orlando? And I'm like, is she? Because you are too angry about this situation. You can be like, no, I didn't do that. You can just stop that right here. And Dre be like, cool. But Dre is not keep breaking it up. It's Jackie and her daughter. Every time she comes on here, she's talking about some. He was trying to get me and Drea, she's a big hoe, and you know how it is out there, all these girls trying to get them to basketball players like Chantel. Are you mad that you're not with Orlando? Are you mad that he's with Drea and not you? Is that is this why you keep on bringing that up? And Drea, she's mad because she's like, this is why her and Jackie's friendship is like it is. She's trying to squash something, and Jackie keeps on trying to dig it back up. Drea's like, I'm putting that behind me. But Jackie, she keeps on bringing it from behind her and just putting it in her face. Like, Drea's trying to be through with the whole situation. She's trying to live her life with her man and be happy. But she can't do that with Jackie and her daughter always bringing up this situation. She's like, why are you so mad? What's there to be mad about? So, yes, that was basically the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.